Hello viewers. In today's video, I'm going to show you the CELPIP writing task one, formal letter writing. Let's see what do we have here. So it's a formal letter, task one, 150 to 200 words. You can in fact write a 10% of the 200 that would be 220, 27 minutes is what is given to you to write this letter. You recently ordered a book from an online bookseller. The book you've received is not the latest edition, even though you paid extra for the latest edition version. Write an email to the bookseller complaining about the service. Explain the urgency for the latest edition. Describe why the earlier edition is inadequate. So let's just keep a, a fake edition or something like that. You can do that because normally uh, if you do not read any books, how will you write this particular thing? So you have to write dear sir or you can also write dear bookseller. I am writing this letter to express my dissatisfaction about the book that I received from your online bookstore. Okay, I am a, I'm a student of Bangalore University and I am pursuing the final year of MBA in Human Resources Management. Therefore, I ordered a book from Chakradhar Publications Publications for MBA or a book For, uh, for the fifth edition of human resource or the fifth edition of this book. However, to my dismay, we already said dissatisfaction, so we may change. However, to my dismay, I received the older version, which is fourth edition, but it is of no use to me in the final year. I want you to take cognizance of this oversightedness by your Okay, it's taking some time. There is a red underlining. So it should be correct only oversightedness. 
All right, let's make it as one word by your staff members. Okay, I want you to take cognizance of this oversightedness by your staff member and sending me with the wrong version of the book. Okay. I request you to pick up this version or you can say I request you to pick up this version by your career company and deliver me with the fifth edition at the earliest as I am preparing for my my oh, preparing for my final final year exams. All right. So what you can do is make it as at least uh, paragraphed letter. That way it will look neat. Please. Okay. I request you to pick up the version, the, pick up this version by your, I request you to Okay, just slightly change the sentence. I request you to pick up this version and deliver me with the fifth edition at the earliest as I'm preparing for final year exams. Please do the needful by giving me a 50% discount as well. So let's also see how many words we have written. That is very, very important because we should not exceed 220 words. So it's already 143. Okay, let's do a proofreading because we are close to the conclusion. Anyway, dear sir, I'm writing this letter to express my dissatisfaction about the book that I received from your online bookstore. I'm a student of Bangalore University and I'm pursuing the final year of MBA in Human Resources Management. Therefore, I ordered a book from Chakradhar Publications for the fifth edition of this book. However, to my dismay, I received the older version, which is the fourth edition, which is the fourth edition, but it is of no use to me in the final year. Okay. Thus, I want you to take cognizance of this oversightedness by your staff member in sending me with the wrong version of the book. I request you to pick, pick up this version and deliver me with the fifth edition at the earliest as I'm preparing for the final year exams. Please do the needful by giving me a 50% discount as well this time as I have, as I feel that I have paid because they say that The book you have received is not the latest version, even though you paid extra for the latest edition. Okay. So you can say it in this way. 
please do the needful by giving me a 50% discount as well this time as I feel that I have overly or I have paid here we can just uh, change the sentence a little. Please do the needful by giving me a 50% discount. Because I feel that I have paid an extra amount for the book. I look forward to hear a ring from you soon. Yours sincerely Sandy. Okay, so let's do the counting now. Let's also do the final proofreading. So we have written close to 167 words. It's a good one. If you feel that you want to maybe enter another extra sentence that you can do somewhere, but let's see how we can enter another sentence and make it um, uh, to get make it to get uh, CLB nine or ten. Sometimes my students even get eleven. That depends on how much wordings you write and how unique your writing is. That is very very important, dear sir. I'm writing this letter to express my dissatisfaction about the book that I received from your online bookstore. I'm a student of Bangalore University and I'm pursuing the final year of MBA in Human Resources Management. Therefore, I ordered a book from Chakradhar Publications for the fifth edition of this book. However, to my dismay, I received the older version, which is the fourth edition, but it is of no use to me in the final year. Thus, I want you to take cognizance of this oversightedness by your staff member in sending me with the wrong version of the book. I request you to pick up this version and deliver me with the fifth edition at the earliest as I'm preparing for the final year exams. Please do the needful by giving me a 50% discount because I feel that I have paid an extra amount for this book. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Sandy. Why do I do the proofreading is because we have ample 27 minutes. I've written it well within the 20 minutes. So I have enough time to proofread it before submitting my letter. So I have to write one more sentence. Where can I add another sentence? Okay, so here I can maybe, I'm a student of Bangalore University and I am pursuing the final year of MBA in Human Resources Management. Therefore, I ordered a book on Human Resources within quotes from Chakradhar Publications for the fifth edition of this, of the book, fifth edition of the book. However, to my dismay, I received the older version, which is the fourth edition, but it is of no use to me in the final year. Okay, still we are, we are only somewhere there. Okay, yours sincerely. So it is 171 words. I think it should suffice because um, if you just try to write anything more than this, I don't think, um, what else can we write? Let's see, complaining about the service 
explaining the urgency for the latest edition. Okay. I request you to pick up this version and deliver me with the with the fifth edition at the earliest as I'm preparing for the final year exams, which is next week. Please do the needful by giving me a 50% discount because I feel that I've paid an extra amount for this book. I think we have written close to now 175 words. So this is a good one. You can easily get a CLB 10, if not 11, I guess. So this is a good one, in fact. Okay, so we have come to the end of this uh, entire episode of uh, letter writing on the cell pip and uh, task two, which is survey question. Hope uh, viewers, you enjoyed every bit of my video because I'll be coming up with more such videos if you just press the bell icon and uh, smash the like button. Also comment below. My name is Sridhar Santanam from Selfip Academy. See you on the other side with another video. Thanks for watching.